With his own name tag and designated desk, Jared Villery now spends his days working at the Anti-Recidivism Coalition, helping other formerly incarcerated folks like himself clean up the records. But for years, his workplace looked much different. Sweep floors and wash dishes um, for eight cents an hour or for nothing an hour. Jared served a 21-year prison sentence after being incarcerated at 19 years old, charged with first-degree robbery, burglary, weapon enhancements, and false imprisonment. During his time in, he learned law and began his advocacy there, which he is now continuing as he supports Prop 6. A measure on the ballot this November that would ban forced labor in prison and jails. Currently, the state constitution already bans involuntary servitude in all situations except as punishment for a crime. Jared and proponents of the bill say the assigned mandatory work shifts in prison interfere with rehabilitation efforts and education aspirations. I would have likely had my associate's degrees three or four years sooner. Um, I would have been able to participate in more self-help groups that were av available frequently during my work hours. What Prop 6 would do is allow those incarcerated to choose no, if they would like to work that. or if they would like to focus on groups and school without punishment. They don't really have a choice to refuse because when the, that write-up comes, you lose all privileges. But not everyone is in favor, such as State all, Senator all Brian time. Dolly. And so it's not about them not having time to be able to do that. But the way this is written is it's very vague. They're, they, are they going to be, you know, paid to uh, do their laundry and, you know, uh, take care of their day-to-day -day needs that everybody has to have? The prop is also one of the state's reparation task force recommendations, arguing the exception on the clause allows for a modern form of reenslavement of black people because of the community's overrepresentation in the prison system, something Senator Dali does not agree with. I think it's two different issues. Uh, when you talk about somebody who has, uh, you know, had a crime against another human being or or against society, uh, that's why we have penalties for crime. Meanwhile, Jared says not being forced to work would help inmates reintegrate into society. You have people getting out who come out with job skills that people didn't have before. They're not going to have to go back to the things that they knew because now they're going to know something new. Ultimately, it will be up to California voters when they make a decision on Prop 6 this November.